Welcome to some and welcome back to a few. I ramble review, it's what I do. And today I'm here to talk about my birthday book haul. So I didn't think I was actually getting any books for my birthday. And then a couple of my friends, as well as my boyfriend, surprised me and I ended up with a lot of books. Go figure. So one book I want to talk about having picked up was actually a mystery book uh, that I already opened because I tried to record this once and things went a little wrong. Um, but it was a paranormal mystery that came in this cute wrapping here. It just said paranormal and gave me a brief description of what the book was about. And it ended up being Wild Hunger, which is the first book in a spin-off series. I have not read the original series associated with it, so I don't know how well it's going to read as a spin-off. Will it stand on its own two feet? I'm in a unique position to find out, I suppose. Um, now let me put that to the side and grab wait, the first half of the stack for my birthday haul, which starts with a complete impulse grab from the book warehouse, which still has its sticker on it, called Antigodus. Its entire premise is that the gods are dying, and no one knows why. I've gathered from its inside flap description that it's going to turn out that maybe another god, or another goddess rather, is the root cause of why the gods and goddesses are dying. Why are they doing that? Why would they do that? I don't know. It is apparently the first book in a series, so I'm really hoping I like it so that I can read more. Uh, from the book warehouse, I also picked up Witch Town. Its tagline says, Secrets hold their own power. And its back says, She's never had power. She's only told lies. She's always kept secrets. But it will all end soon. Witch Town is the final step. So I'm incredibly intrigued by this book. And the, fi <laughs> the final two from Book Warehouse are Mercedes Lackey's Trio of Sorcery and The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. Whose name I'm covering up. There we go. Um, so both of these I am semi aware of from previous reviewers giving me a little bit about them. I know this one is an unconventional vampire tale of some sort, and I am aware that this one is wildly different than the Harold Mage saga, which is the only other Mercedes Lackey I have really read. Okay, now we're going to hope that stack doesn't fall over so I can grab the others. So, um, so these next couple all come from a bookstore called Liberty Book Company that I absolutely adored. Also, I forgot to say the mystery uh, pack one I showed, uh, Wild Hunger I think it was called, is from a small store called The Bookworm. I will link to it and to Liberty Book Company in the description down below. However, doo -doo -doo, I got from Liberty Eden Conquered and divided, Dividing Eden. Uh, from my understanding, um, this book is the final book in the series, and this is the first, and there were apparently a couple of ebooks that came in between them. I don't have access to the ebooks, so I'm gonna hope I can just read this one and jump straight over into this one. I will let y'all know that does not end up being the case. I may be in for an ebook based adventure. But what really excited me about both of these is Whoever gave them to the local and used bookstore also included this cute little letter from the author that came with them. And I know it's not showing well at all in the sliding, but I love when I get a used book and it has some extra in it, whether it's from the author or maybe the previous reader like wrote something in it or like I find a bookmark or that kind of thing is like just completely up my alley. Uh, also from Liberty, I nabbed a copy of Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. Everybody and their mother has talked about this book, I feel like. But I love it. Uh, the original copy I got to read belonged to a friend and was this little squat 
paperback, like, you know, the ones that are like, <laughs> um, I really wanted to find a copy that was like a big floppy paperback because that was like my thing in fantasy. I am saying like a lot this video. Sorry, guys. Oh. Yeah. Mm, okay. I'm trying not to have these books just fall over on me. Cross your fingers, guys. Um, the last two books I have from my birthday book haul. Ah, they're like keeping all the other books on the shelves up. I have from, uh, I think my best friend said this came from Borders. It, Borders cuts. Not Borders, Barnes and Noble. Borders does not exist. He time traveled to get it, clearly. Um, no. <laughs> from Barnes and Noble, it might have been Books A Million, uh, but it's called Cinderella is Dead. I have adored this book. Uh, he only gave it to me a couple of days ago, and I am already basically through it. Like, this is my paper I've been using as a bookmark all the way at the end of it already. It is a dystopian. It is covering a world in which violence towards women is very much the norm. Um, there definitely needs to be a lot of trigger warnings associated with that. But I'm absolutely loving it. There's a lot of women empowerment themes. There's a lot of fairy tale deconstruction. Um, I will spoil that there is a really enjoyable lesbian romance in it. 100% y'all should read it. <laughs> okay. So, my obsession with that dystopian to the side. I only got one witchcraft book for my birthday this year, and I got it from Labyrinth Walking, which is a little store in Myrtle Beach, eh, Myrtle Beach, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, um, which is where I went for my birthday and is called Badass Ancestors. I will probably do an entire separate review video for this book. I originally read it as an e-arc through NetGalley, uh, which I will link NetGalley down below if anyone is interested in reviewing e-arcs on Goodreads or Tumblr or wherever you keep your, you know, reviews. I loved it then and I love it now. Getting a physical copy has been particularly nice. Um, I have a Liberty bookmark in it, but I, I got this one from Labyrinth Walking. <laughs> I have a lot, a lot of bookmarks. <laughs> all right, well, that is all the books that I ended up grabbing for my birthday. A few of them, as I said, I've already read before. I will probably do reviews for eventually. Um, and one I am actively almost at the end of and will definitely be doing a review for soon. Though I do have a couple of other reviews I want to do first that I've put off for way too long. <sighs> I hope all of you are having a wonderful day. Whenever you see this, feel free to comment and tell me what books you're reading right now. Even if it's way down the line. You know, you run into this video on my next birthday. Comment anyway. I'd love to hear from you. Bye!